Ja. Den nächsten. Mr. Chairman, our flag bearer, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, the flag bearer has said it all. Uh, ours is uh, a tradition that, as we have heard, has lasted over a century and is still as virgin as ever. In fact, the vision of the four bears has been vindicated globally. The times when the old men were foreseeing the day when the human being will be the rationale for governance and for everything else. Those times, the world really hadn't woken up to that truth that was coming. I wouldn't go back to the 19th century, even as recent as 1947, when J.B. Dankwa and others were talking of human rights, rule of law, uh, property-owning democracy. The world was divided radically. We had the East and the West. And for quite some time, the fear was that the East might triumph over the West, meaning it would be the state more than the individual human being. As we speak now, it's people power all over the world. So the vision of the Dunkers is the truth of the times. And as uh, the learned professor and judge said, truth is truth. You can't call a cow. <laughs> In fact, as we heard from the flag bearer, who has spoken very comprehensively and at length, uh, in this statement, which is going to be the, the reference point and resource for our manifesto for the next election, he's captured the vision, the philosophy, the... Um, pragmatism, everything in this statement. And it's tackled the challenges on all the facets of government, from education through infrastructure, through agriculture. He's captured everything, and in detail. Our government, the short eight-year period we had, we achieved a paradigm shift without which I tell you, Ghana wouldn't be anywhere near where it is today. And we were able to do it, again, following the vision and the beliefs of the, the old people. Unfortunately, the government was betrayed, and this is why Ghana is in current hardships and stagnation. I'm happy that from what we heard from our flag bearer, God willing, when we come back next year, we're going to go back. <laughs> so that the truth that our government achieved for our country will prove to be the, like the proverbial cock, no matter how deep you try to suppress it underwater, it will shoot up. Um, I believe the party is endowed with great resources. Now, there's no resource more important and more productive than the human resource. And thank God the party abounds in human resource. The speaker has spoken as the flag bearer, but I assure you, if he wasn't sure he'd got the human backing, the resource backing him, he wouldn't have spoken as he's spoken tonight. 
So, uh, what I would urge Ghana to do is to listen and listen good to this lecture referred. NPP is only pleading to the entire country of Ghana to hear. We are like missionaries. We are not in just for ourselves. We are in to lift Ghana up, to be the true beacon. It's not fanciful politics we want to do. Ours is a mission to put Ghana on a pedestal, to be the real beacon, not just for even the sub-region of West Africa, but for the entire continent of Africa, to see that truly Africa can come into its own and take its rightful place side by side with the other continents and races of the world. The global village is already here, and it's a village that hasn't got time for visionless leadership. <laughs> NPP can do it. So please, Ghana, let NPP come and continue where it left off so that all of us will be restored to the aspirations and the opportunities as we heard the, the flag that I say, aspirations and opportunities. And ours, I assure you, will be equal opportunities for all. All. So uh, with this, I congratulate the, the speaker for very enlightening statements and also for doing our tradition the great honor. Uh, for a time, people thought with the passing of Dankwa, with the disgrace of Buzia, uh, with the vicissitudes the party and the tradition suffered in the wilderness, perhaps we are going to be doomed. But I tell you, truth is truth. We are back and we are going to continue. From next year, God willing, we are back. Thank you.